guys, you are back at What's Up With. I'm Dana Ward with Jocelyn Davis. Hey. And oh my gosh, aren't you so excited to talk about the fault in our stars? I am so excited. We're both Finally book nerds. Here. I love reading and there is nothing better than when a book that you love is turned into a movie that looks like it's gonna be as good as The Fault in Our Stars is going to be. Oh, I am so excited. Me so you too. guys, spoiler alert, if you haven't read the book or you haven't read the synopsis for the movie, um, we are talking about the seven things you need to know about The Fault in Our Stars before you actually see it in the theater. So let's kick this off. Up first, let's talk about the book. The movie is based directly on a best-selling book by the same name written by John Green. It's the love story of two teenagers named Hazel and Gus who just so happen to also have cancer. Their relationship is described as miraculous due to the fact that Hazel's constant companion is an oxygen tank. And then there's Gus who constantly jokes about his prosthetic leg. The book is still on the bestseller list years after mm -hmm. it comes out. And it's such a good book. I cannot encourage you guys enough to read it. I feel like even people who aren't readers, who don't like to sit there and read a book, this is something you need to take some time for. Yes, it's a really easy read. You just sit down, you are you are so connected to these characters, mm -hmm. you can't put it down, and just have a box of Kleenex oh my gosh. by you when you read this book. Yes, and we have to talk about up next the author, John Green, you mentioned him. Mm -hmm. He's really become like this icon to young people all around the world. Um, prior to releasing the book, he was well known as one half of the Vlog Brothers with his brother Hank. They have mm -hmm. many YouTube channels. Then he also started VidCon, which what? it's insane thinking about this. <laughs> We've been going to VidCon every year since it started. Yep. It's essentially like Comic Con, but for YouTube. So all the big YouTube channels and stars from YouTube come out and meet and greet with their fans. He has a big presence on YouTube, and he's also written another book. It's titled Looking for Alaska. Okay, so next thing you need to know about The Fault in Our Stars, it's all about the cast. So hopefully you haven't been sleeping under a rock, but <laughs> Shailene Woodley and Ansel Algor are signed on as the lead characters, Hazel and Gus. They play lovers, obviously. And then we've got Nat Wolf, who plays their friend Isaac, um, who is in the cancer support group, who is actually going blind, and he'll be dealing with some very heartbreaking news and heartbreak in the movie. We've got Laura Dern and Sam Trammell, who play Hazel's parents, Mr. and Mrs. Lancaster. Such an amazing cast. It really is. Nat Wolf! Oh, that guy. <laughs> and I just, I, I want to point out, I think it's so interesting, and you guys have probably already heard this, that Shailene and Ansel are playing lovers in this movie, but we already know them on screen uh, as brother and sister yes. for Divergent. So they are putting on their acting caps and uh, playing a different character. And they're so talented. They're so talented. Um, next up, something you need to know before you go see this movie is a moment, a scene, a portion of the film that you need to watch out for. It's all about Amsterdam. Yes! And we're not talking about like the red light district or anything along those lines. Ooh, ooh, so, or is it red light? Well, we'll have to wait and see. <laughs> so, they go to Amsterdam in the movie. It's one of the parts of the film that we're looking forward to most. Yes, if we are. If you read the book, you know what we're talking about. I don't want to give too much away. Even though you did a spoiler alert at the top of the show, I feel like people need to see this for themselves. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is going to be like a big turning point for the characters in more ways than one. I'll leave it oh, at that. just leave it at that. Yeah. Mm, I'm not even going to say anything else. <laughs> don't love don't. it. And up next, let's talk about the soundtrack mm -hmm. for this movie. Amazing! Yes. I mean, we're talking Ed Sheeran, Jake Bug, Group Love, Birdie, Codaline, Tom O'Dell, Charlie X, CX, Ray LaMontagne, and more. And I specifically want to break down Ed Sheeran's song, All of the Stars. It's getting tons of attention mm -hmm. right now. I know we were at our computers when the music video premiered. <laughs> I mean, just watching it over and over again. But fun tidbit for fans out there, after Ed heard about this movie, he just wanted to be a part mm -hmm. of it in any way he could. And right away, he thought he had a song for the movie and obviously it fits perfectly with the movie and be sure to stick around to the ending credits when you guys are in the theater to hear it play. It's I can't such a good song. Oh, I hope I hope we get some good video to go along with with the sound. I agree and I think it's so cool that he already had the song because a lot of times when we hear about soundtracks 
artist will write songs after they see like a first cut of the movie, but he mm -hmm. was like, hey, got the song. Well, Ed Sheeran, I mean, he has this Mary Poppins bag of songs yeah. that he just <laughs> reaches into and it's just like an, e an ever flow of really, really good tracks with meaningful lyrics, awesome sounds. Man, Ed Sheeran, can we borrow this Mary Poppins bag of songs? I would love to see what's in there personally. Well, mm -hmm. what movie's coming next? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, moving on to the next thing you need to know about this movie, and that is that it's already made history. The movie's not even out yet, and it's already being written in the books of history, so Ooh. that hundreds of years from now, we'll Ooh, be able to look back in time. Well, when we look back in time, what are we going to find about the fault in our stars, Jocelyn? Well, Dana, I'm so glad you <laughs> asked, and I don't know why suddenly thinking about history has us doing accents, but I'm into it. This is the most liked trailer on YouTube of all time. It currently has around, I think, 300,000 likes, although by the time this airs, I'm sure it'll be double that. That's huge. It is incredible. And we know, we're in the world of YouTube. Yeah. Having something that makes history like that is a really big deal. Wow, so now we need to make sure that this stays in the mm -hmm. history books, so we need to go to the trailer and click like, 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 like. Like, like. And moving on, let's talk about the feels. The feels. The feels. This movie, you guys, is going to make you laugh. It's going to make you cry. It's going to make you feel everything in between. We promise. <laughs> the film is also packed with some of the best quotes of oh. all time. Uh, the book is too, P.S., but we know this is in the movie. Uh, here we go. Quote, I fell in love with him the way you fall asleep. Slowly and then all at once. <laughs> Oh, it's just so amazing. Oh and gosh. maybe we're super emotional because we've read the book. We know the storyline. But again, the movie is coming out. Tickets are available right now for pre-sale. And it hits theaters on June 6th here in the USA. And in the UK, it hits theaters June 20th. Mm -hmm. But you can always go get the book. Uh, yes. Maybe read it again. Why not? You need to read the book before you go see the movie so that you're emotionally prepared for what is going to go down. Because the feels are in major majorly full effect guys i am feeling right now so dana just what are, talking about it what are you excited about to see in this in this film i just want to see this this set of characters come to life because they were written so beautifully and the relationship was written so beautifully and now we're going to actually see it visually mm -hmm. it's already in here and i can't wait to see it here it's gonna be what about amazing. you Oh, there are so many things I'm excited about because I read this book a long time ago, so I feel yeah. like I've been waiting forever. I'm sure a lot of you guys connect with what I'm saying, but I think what I'm most excited about is to see a story about people who have cancer, but it's not about cancer. It's a love story. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see kind of how that's dealt with because I feel like in the past we've seen, you know, read books, seen movies that deal with, you know, death and disease and things like that, but that's usually the focus. This is not going to be the focus, so I'm excited about that. Mm -hmm. Bring your tissues, though, guys. We were not I joking. I need them now. Yes. <laughs> and we want to hear from you. Hit the comment section. Let us know what you're most excited about. And we've already said it a million times, but if you haven't read the book, get up right now and go get the book. Do it. It's an easy read. Mm -hmm. You'll just sit down and read the whole thing. And then go see the movie, of Yes. Course. And click right here to check out seven things you need to know about another movie starring Shailene and Ansel. It's all about Divergent. The DVD is coming soon and we've got the details.